An August tradition kicked off today in Addison County to a lot of celebration after the event couldn't happen last year because of the pandemic. Our Jack Thurston was there. Two-year-old triplets, yes, triplets, Quinn, Fern, and Reagan, loved checking out the animals at the Addison County Fair and Field Days. A long-running tradition their parents were eager to continue. It feels good to be able to take my girls out. They can see the same things I saw. This five-day celebration of Vermont agriculture, plus the rides, games, food, and other fun, like temporary tattoos that really pop on a farmer's tan. I just wish I had a muscle. All kicking off Tuesday. It's really good to be back. After shutting down for 2020, along with Vermont's other iconic summer fairs, to help slow the spread of COVID-19 by pausing big gatherings and a lot of interstate travel. Now returning, field days required event directors, paid employees, and contractors to be vaccinated against COVID, while strongly recommending vaccines for volunteers and masks for anyone unvaccinated going indoors and so many of our buildings have great ventilation and are wide open on the ends it just felt like it was a, it was a good decision to come back get your shot today and you're done there with Middlebury Regional EMS here all week giving the one and done J and J shot aiming to grow Vermont's nation leading vaccine total at the fairgrounds cotton candy some fried bread dough yeah your vaccine. and a vaccination shot yeah, yeah. <laughs> back to those triplets whether meeting a goat or watching chicks hatching this is exactly the kind of summer memory their great grandmother wanted for her family. I love bringing the kids. And the grandkids? Yeah, the grandkids, yeah. And the great grandkids? And the great grandkids, yeah. I've done it for three generations. The Addison County Fair and Field Days run through Saturday night. In New Haven, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.